Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day If this is the first time you're watching my channel girl, my name is Sebastian I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day So listen bitch if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me grab a snack grab a drink hit that subscribe button girl It takes two seconds to subscribe to my damn channel. Okay? All right, listen, we have to talk because there's a couple of things going around about Justin Bieber. This came out earlier this month, but it is now picking up speed. So I didn't want to talk about it until, you know, until I saw what was going to happen. But it is very concerning. So, of course, I'm going to say allegedly in this video, everything is my opinion. Um Because it is very scary. So some fans on Twitter are reporting that... Uh, Justin Bieber's new business manager is in fact allegedly Lou Taylor, which is obviously Britney Spears' ex-business manager who basically, in, uh, in my opinion, did the whole damn conservatorship, okay? I don't know whether to be mad at Justin Bieber or worried for him, as it appears that he recently got a new business manager, Lou Taylor, also known as the woman who spearheaded Britney Spears' conservatorship. People on Twitter figured this out because his touring company has the same address as TriStar Media Group, Lou Taylor's company. But as we all know, Justin has been acting a bit erratic over the years. And there were actually rumors that his father was in contact with Britney's father to put Justin in a conservatorship of his own. And now he's worth a lot more due to selling his music catalog for over $200 million. So was this his decision or was he coerced? So that is not good. There's already a lot of rumors about Justin Bieber. Uh, and conservatorships. There's a lot of rumors about his declining mental health. The, so a lot of fans are very concerned. And on top of it, you have this, which is, you know, I mean, Lou Taylor is basically, in my opinion, the worst person to ever exist. So, you know, for Justin to mm -hmm. uh, to allegedly be part of of that and, and, and have any type of business with this monster, I feel really bad for him. Um, so people on Twitter found out that Justin's touring company is allegedly the same address as Lou Taylor TriStar, which is her business. So his touring company, people on Twitter are, are, are basically saying that it's the same address as TriStar Media, which is Lou Taylor's company girl. And that, my friends, is very concerning. You do not want to have any business with that lady, okay? Um, listen, you guys. As you guys know, a lot of fans are very concerned, girl, because he has not been himself. He looks very sad. He looks very like, you know, just he doesn't look like that Justin. He doesn't have that glow. He doesn't have that, you know, that happiness. And there has been some rumors circulating that his father, Jeremy uh, Bieber, and Jamie Spears are allegedly discussing a conservatorship for Justin Bieber, um, which, listen, obviously, we don't know if that's true. Um, I, I, you know, Justin Bieber's net worth is over 300 million. He did sell his whole catalog and people are very concerned. What I think is when, whenever you have the name Lou Taylor, TriStar, Jamie Spears, or Andrew Watt, which was, you know, that her, uh, his lawyer, you want to run to the damn hills, bitch. Um, I, I personally, I'm going to say that I, I, I'm choosing not to believe these rumors. Um, but you know, it is very concerning because look at what they did to Britney Spears, you know, and, and that is, it, it, you don't not want to mess with that. Britney Spears has said herself that a lady was the one who brought the idea of the conservatorship to her father and that her mother went along with it. And that lady turned out to be Lou Taylor. I was 25. When it started, I was extremely young. Um, I remember a lot of my friends texting me and calling me and we were extremely close and they wanted to see me, but by what had happened, um, I honestly still to this day don't know what really I did, but the punishment of uh, my father, I wasn't able to, you know, see anyone or like anything. Um, so, and you have to imagine none of it made sense to me. I literally spoke in a British accent to a doctor to prescribe my medication and three days later, there was a swap team in my home, three helicopters. And I remember my mom's best friend and my two girlfriends. We had a sleepover the night before. They held me down on a gurner. And again, none of it made sense. Um, literally, the extent of my madness was playing chess with, um, when it was playing chase with paparazzi, um, which is still to this day one of the 
most fun things I ever did about being famous. So I don't know what was so harmful about that. Um, but I remember my mom was sitting on the couch and she said, we've heard people are coming here today to talk to you. We should probably go, you know, to a hotel or something. And I never really understood what she meant. I didn't believe her. Like, is a lawyer coming here? Who is coming here? Then four hours later, there were over 200 paparazzi outside my house videotaping me through a window of an ambulance holding me down on a germer. I know now it was all premeditated. And a woman introduced the idea to my dad and my mom actually helped him follow through and made it all happen. It was all basically set up. There was no drugs in my system, no alcohol, nothing. It was pure abuse. And, and I haven't, haven't even really shared even half of it. And if you guys know anything about the Free Britney movement, you know that Lou Taylor, girl, she is the number one enemy. So for Justin to hope, I mean, hopefully this is not true. So I'm, I'm praying to God it's not. But if it is, and there is any kind of discussion with Justin and TriStar or Lou Taylor, uh, Haley Bieber, girl, I'm gonna need you to run the other way and grab that man of yours and move to fucking Paris and, and, and put a restraining order because you do not want anything to do with that. Um, there has been rumors, I mean, there definitely has been rumors about Justin Bieber and a conservatorship. Uh, a lot of fans are concerned that that is where this is gonna go. Now, we really can't tell what is going on with somebody's mental health, right? We, we can't. Now, Justin, uh, there has been a lot of reports that he has been feeling not great mentally, physically, spiritually, that he feels very, very sad. Uh, there's been a lot of say that his, um, team does not tell him what is being said online so allegedly he has no idea everything that went on with Haley Bieber and Selena because they wanted to protect his mental health I mean there's a lot of things that people are kind of like you know trying to make everything good for him but I will tell you something his father in my opinion is giving off the same vibes as Britney Spears's father hungry desperate and only seeing money signs okay that's my opinion bitch and I get to have one okay um, I don't know, you guys. I, 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 it is very concerning. Um, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, this is just a made up Twitter thing. I would pray it is because what Britney Spears went through and the trauma that it caused her, the pain that it caused her, the years lost that it caused her. That's not a joke. And, you know, it, 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 I hope and pray that Britney does get justice. And I know in my heart she will. She will take all these people down. But I do hope that if Justin is going through something, I think that in 2023, celebrities should be more open about their mental health. You know, Selena Gomez, she's very open about her mental health. And that's something I really admire of her. We don't want to see picture perfect. We don't want to see Kardashian picture perfect. We want to see real. We want to see raw. We want to we want to see our favorite say, girl, I'm having a really bad time. I'm having a really bad year. My mental health is fucked the fuck up. You know what I mean? And it will make them more real. It will make it more relatable and it will make it more us, right? Because I mean, everyone goes through shit, you know, and these celebrities, they feel like they have to act all, all perfect and, and, you know, nothing is wrong. Everything is chip, chip, cheerio. No, bitch, it's not chip, chip, cheerio. Okay, ho? You can definitely see in that boy's eyes that he is miserable times 5,000, okay? Infinity 3 pi, 314 pi, whatever the fuck the pi is. I don't understand why they call that shit pi. What does 3.14 have to do with pi? Why do they call it a pi? What? <laughs> Do you have the answer to that? Probably not, bitch, because I don't either, okay? Anyways, what do you guys think of Justin Bieber allegedly working with TriStar Lou Taylor? Um, I'm just telling you guys, as a Britney Spears fan, this is not good news. That allegedly my opinion, allegedly my opinion. Um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. I hope that you're having a really good weekend. I would say send a little prayer for Justin because if this is true, bitch, he needs to run for the hills. And he needs to really eliminate anyone in his team that does that does not want him to be okay. Because you know what, you guys? I've seen in the entertainment business that when it comes to money, 
People forget their morals. People forget that they are blood related. People forget everything, girl. When the, when the greed comes in and the money sign is all that you see, you don't care if you have to betray your own damn mother, okay? Because look at look at everything. Look at all these look at all these child uh, stars. Look at everyone who has their their parents steal from them. Who look at Britney Spears? You know what I mean? I mean, there's so many different. Uh, uh, so many different, you know, situations that we have seen that, you know, people get greedy, people get hungry, people, people lose all sight of morals and, and, and it's just very scary. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous uh, weekend. Let me know what you guys are doing in the, in the comments below. We are going to go see Steve Aoki to celebrate my hubby's birthday. So if you're going to be at Steve Aoki's, come say hi. Um, and also, girl, if you see that I'm a little bit tipsy, you know, be tipsy with me, okay, bitch? Or, or get a mocktail with me because I can't be the only one acting a fool, okay? Anyways, I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.